end with a destructive restaurant fire. Fast moving flames destroyed a local landmark and the apartments above it. Tonight, the people who live and work there are trying to come to terms with what they've lost. New at six, the restaurant's owner's emotional debate over whether to reopen the business he's devoted decades of his life to. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is there now, live in New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. The restaurant's owner got choked up today when he was talking with us. If you take a look at the damage, you can understand why. In fact, firefighters are still here on the scene working on some hot spots. And just about 30 minutes ago, we even saw some very small flames poking through that hole in the roof. Nabi Mujabur watched helplessly as his home and his business went up in flames. I've been 30 years of my life. It took to build what I have. It went so fast. The fire at the Lebanese kitchen on Purchase Street started right before the restaurant opened for lunch. Eyewitnesses captured the fast moving flames on cell phone video. I thought it was something minor. I went upstairs trying to get a hose, trying to put it back. But the flame was already on the back door. Now Nobby says he's not sure what's next for the business he worked so hard to build. Hopefully <clears throat> we can put everything back together. I'm a fighter. Mayor John Mitchell was at the scene and promised his support. The Lebanese Kitchen is a New Bedford institution. It's a fantastic restaurant and, and, and even better family that runs it. Uh, our hope is that uh, it's not a total loss and that they're going to be able to put things back together. Uh, the city of New Bedford will help them along the way. Nobody was injured in the fire, and we've learned Nobby's son, Alex, rescued the family's three dogs from the third floor of the burning building. Tonight, the cause of the fire remains under investigation. Live in New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.